Ну, давайте начнем, да? Сейчас нам... So, let's start. I think that now we will listen to a very interesting presentation. Auto plant tuning using feedback loop. <laughs> yeah, thank you for attending this presentation. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about automated execution plan tuning using feedback loop. Uh, my name is Tatsuro Yamada. I uh, came from Japan. Uh, I work for NTT Open Source Software Center as a database engineer. Uh, I have been working on various kinds of system development in the telecom area. I, I used to be an uh, Oracle database uh, DBA for many years, and I have been focusing on Postgres for around the last five years. Uh, my interest is the following. Please find me around if you have common interest. Uh, I'll cover six points. One, uh, the background of plant tuning. Two, I will introduce my extension named the PG Plan Advisor and explain how it works. Three, uh, I'll share measurement results using the extension. Four, demonstration. Five, I'll share experimental results using AQ World and PZ Plan Advisor together. Six, conclusion of the presentation. Uh, we'll have a question and answer time, answer session at the end of the presentation. So let me begin. Yeah, background of front tuning. This is Mount Fuji. Do you know? <laughs> uh, first question. Uh, what do this graph stand for? Uh, yeah. Postgres, SQL Server, Oracle? Uh, the answer is it's uh, before and after plant tuning in Postgres. As you can see, at a glance, the execution time is less than half after tuning. I'll explain it later, but I use join order benchmark with my extension. Uh, you may also get the same result by the new tuning method I'm going to talk about. And since this tuning is done automatically, it might be, it might be even more interesting to you. I'll show you details of the execution time on next slide. Uh, this is the execution time of all queries before tuning. Uh, yeah, uh, these are roughly 100 queries. Uh, what happened after tuning? Uh, you can see the execution time of most of the query have gotten shorter. So I suppose uh, these plans are inefficient, uh, I mean, before tuning. So where is the cause of inefficient plan? Uh, several reasons come to my mind, but as a core of the most of them are the selection of bad scan method, join method, and join order by the planner. The bad choice may occur because of the mistake in designing table and indexes, or a planner's error. In most cases, a complicated query includes a large number of join and aggregation, which tends to result in an inefficient plan. So planners occasionally make mistakes. Uh, what kind of mistakes? Uh, I'll, I'll explain well-known examples of planner mistake on next page. Yeah, as you might know, Cardinal estimation error, also known as row count estimation error, is a well-known error. For example, it is caused by planner specification or the statistics information being old. Uh, the ideally, uh, there should be no estimation errors. However, in fact, these errors do occur and inefficient plans are sometimes selected. So, DBA and the user have to do various tuning to get efficient plan to meet a performance requirement. 
Uh, also, I am not going to explain all of them uh, one by one. There are various tuning methods. I think that there are two types of tuning. One is to improve the accuracy of cardinality estimation. The other is to change the scan and, and the joint method and the joint order. Uh, in addition, uh, the gray character uh, is the extension <coughs> we are developing and sharing. So there are various journey methods, but there is something in common. Uh, they involve repeatedly running explain analyze command in tuning phase. I'm going to explain my idea for plant tuning on next slide. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so my idea is if we use the result of explain analyze and automatically correct the estimated row number directory, can we get a better plan? For example, there are errors in the estimated rows. Uh, if you fix them, you can expect that the plan will be better because there is no errors. I suppose that many people thought the same idea to get, uh, get an efficient plan. However, even if the idea is simple, implementation seems to be a bit difficult because there is no interface to do that. Next, let me talk about the mechanism of new, bar, new extension named PG Pro Advisor. Yeah. Uh, I, de I developed an extension named PG Pro Advisor as a POC and tried the idea. The idea, so to speak, is controlling the estimated role. So I used ancient control engineering that I ran 20 years ago, uh, that is feedback group. On the next page, I'm going to explain rough concept of it, the extension using feedback group briefly. Yeah. As you know, there are some processes to execute query in Postgres. I added feedback group by PG Plan Advisor like this. It arrows to three features. One, detect estimation error. Two, correct the error by using feedback group, feedback info on next execution query. Three, uh, record all information such as plan execution time hints. To use this extension, uh, <coughs> Postgres is able to use PDC cycle to improve our plan. Okay, I'll explain three features on next page. One, <clears throat> detect estimation error and create feedback info. This, this feature is impo most important in this extension. If there is no feedback info, it can't correct the error on next query execution. This extension uses optimize, optimizer hints as a feedback info to uh, correct estimation error uh, when current query text matches previous query text. Feedback info is applied in a planner. Three, it is important to check plan, uh, plan, check plan and execution time changes. So this, ex <coughs> this extension records all information of tuning process. Next. Implementations. Uh, please let me skip the details of the implementation. Yeah, use case. Uh, when? <coughs> this extension is assumed to be used in the plant tuning process during system de development. How to use? Repeatedly execute, explain, analyze until no estimation errors. Yeah. We've reached the halfway point. Uh, from here, I will introduce measurement results using the extension. The measurement conditions are following. I use the joint order benchmark, uh, which consists of roughly 100 queries, containing 3 to 16 joints per query. 
Why I use it? Because it is convenient for checking mistake of the planner. Uh, data is on memory. Uh, this maximum, ah, sorry. The maximum number of iterations are 64. <coughs> Postgres parameter as follow, following. <coughs> Especially, uh, parallel, que parallel query is turned off to reduce plan search space. I used Jupyter Notebook as a front, front end tool. Tuning process took 3,000 seconds. Next is slides. Uh, next is <coughs> result. Uh, this graph is a list of queries where the effect of <coughs> shortened execution time was great. Uh, what happened to 29 and 31 SQL? Actually, both the join order and scanning method has changed, making the plan more efficient. Let's see the query 31C. This changes idea of behavior because execution time of success plans don't get worse than the first plan. It is desirable that all queries have this behavior. Let's change the point of view. This is top five long execution times graph. All execution times have gotten less than half. You can see the longest execution time was 16B CKO. Let's see the query on the change of execution time. Yeah, oops, looking at this graph. The iteration converge at the sixth time and the execution time is halved. But the plan can be seen to be degrading until it reaches there. This is not ideal behavior, but this is an acceptable behavior because this extension is aimed at plan tuning during the performance test phase. Okay, let's check the plan history table. The table consists of the following columns, query ID, plan ID, uh, execution time, total diffs. You can see that the plan ID has changed by the final round, and the error becomes zero. It can be confirmed that feedback control has worked. I, cre I created an animation. It shows changing plan in each iteration. You can see plan shapes are changing. If you enlarge plan nodes, uh, you can see that estimated row matches the uh, actual rows. This is a proof of correction by this extension. In this, uh, in this example, as a result of correcting the estimated rows, Planner judges the hash join is more appropriate than nested loop, therefore execution time has been shortened. Uh, next up is I'm going to explain various hints briefly. There are four types of hints in the table. Let's take a look at rose hint column. Rose hint column has feedback information. It means corrective information. You can see that rose hint is stored every time. Yeah. Actually, PG plan advisor also stored these hints. What is this for? That is 
to make it possible to restore France from plan history. These hints have the ability to express plan based on plan ideas. So you can reproduce, you can reproduce the plan at, uh, to a certain point by using these hints. Let's see reading hint on next slide. Uh, reading hints shows joint order. So you can see the changes in the joint order. Uh, we can see table NN move to left most side from the right side. These hints are like a digest of plan shapes. So we can check the plan changes easily. Now let's move on summary. Yeah. I was able to improve the plan by reducing low count estimation error. In the measurement result, we were able to obtain about 50% reduction in execution time. So it is possible to utilize execution information for auto plan tuning. So far, I've explained the extension. Uh, I'll show you a short demonstration. It has following operations. I'll skip the one. Uh, two, execute, <coughs> execute CK file 16 times. Uh, it is now running. Three, <coughs> check plan history table. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Now run, running. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Yeah. So you can see execution time is reduced. So first iteration, execution time is roughly 40 seconds. And last, last iteration, it is roughly one second. And also, I can show you reading hints. Yeah, this shows join order. And also, this is join hint. It shows uh, join method.
So next is for <coughs> uh, re-verification. I ex execute two queries, hinted query and not hinted query, with timeout, statement timeout. <coughs> I guess that many people are thinking that the, the execution time was improved because the uh, cache hit rate improved upon repeated execution. Let's try the verification. Ah, oh, sorry. Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, I will <coughs> I will try execute uh, hinted query. Yeah. Uh, ex execution time is this. Uh, next. I will execute not hinted query. Yeah. So you can see it is uh, cancel, canceling statement due statement timeout. <coughs> so uh, <coughs> hinted query is uh, faster than original query. Uh, next, let me talk about using AQ and the PG Pro Advisor together. <coughs> I tried using AQ and the PG Pro Advisor together <coughs> uh, because PG Pro Advisor is in POC phase and it has many limitations. I'd like to use AQ's sophisticated plan tuning feature, so I tried both together. And the real result is it works fine. I confirm these are able to work together. Okay, next is conclusion. In this talk, I have shared my experience of trying to get more efficient plans for complex query using my POC extension. Ah. <clears throat> I, hope that, I hope that I was able to prove that Postgres can be improved to get more efficient plan using feedback loop. I believe that improvement is a key challenge to reach future Postgres. Uh, в цикле обратной связи. И я считаю, что это одна из uh, больших сложностей. Я хотел бы поблагодарить вас за ваше внимание. Спасибо вам большое. Thank you very much for your presentation. If we have any questions, we may ask them. Do we have a translation tool here? Yeah, it should be here. Yes, it should be in English. Greetings, thank you very much for your report. And I have one question. Where can I get or download your advisor, uh, your extension? Where can I download your extension from? Я сейчас работаю над ним. Один момент, сейчас микрофон скажет. You may just use the microphone. It's on. Сейчас я еще его не расшарил на GitHub. 
Но я планирую его выставить. Я планирую предоставить доступ к нему. Спасибо большое. Попозже. А вы его хотите использовать? Yes. Большое спасибо вам. Do we have more questions? Yes, perhaps there are. Thank you very much for your presentation, but I did not quite understand the hints that you are writing. Are you writing the order of uh, tables that uh, was uh, present at the execution of queries, or this is a hint for a planner to plan a uh, new order of uh, queries uh, during the next time? Да, насколько я понял ваш вопрос, вы хотели бы узнать о поведении этих хинтов. Так? Ну, вот, например, вы пишете хинт после того, как вы выполнили запрос. Это порядок последовательности виски или это хинт для следующего запроса, для того, чтобы использовать этот порядок? Сейчас одну минуту. Я использую четыре хинта в этом расширении. В основном это нижний хинт, rows, который представлен внизу в таблице. Этот хинт управляет к номер... А, это значит что вы хотите, чтобы в планере проводилось изменение? То есть вы меняете, получается, предлагаемое количество или порядок столбцов для того, чтобы выбрать приоритет, новый приоритет? То есть вы не меняете вы не, не меняете генерацию планов исполнения этого запроса, вы просто меняете оценочное количество колонок. Да, спасибо. Do we have more questions? Спасибо большое за вашу презентацию. Я хотел бы спросить у вас, есть ли если у вас автоматическая какая-нибудь штука, которая говорит о том, сколько вам нужно замкнутых цик циклов обратных э, связей, или это вручную задается, например, там 30 операций или больше итераций. Я примерно догадываюсь о количестве итераций, но сейчас еще у меня... У меня этого нет. То есть, если у вас есть какие-нибудь идеи по итерации, по определению этого времени, то, пожалуйста, поделитесь со мной этим предложением. Да, спасибо. То есть, это, это дистрибуется больше работы для того, чтобы увеличить это расширение. Спасибо. I have one question. After the, after the optimization is ended, do we need to manually introduce changes or are the changes introduced automatically? After the optimization is ended, does the optimizer use the plan uh, automatically, the, the best plan automatically, or we need to introduce manually uh, these uh, changes? То есть вопрос ваш заключается в том, что когда, когда у нас тюнинг закончился, то 
то Сопрано всегда использует обращение. Извините, я не могу понять ваш вопрос. Давайте после этой сессии обсудим это еще раз отдельно. Использует ли оптимизатор после этого? So is is the work of optimizer fully automated or not fully automated? Do you need to adjust your ah, auto, uh, automize, uh, optimizer? Thank you for your talk. Спасибо вам большое. Это отличная работа, и я хотел спросить вас, вот это расширение HypoPG, вам оно известно, оно позволяет вам симулировать существование какого-то индекса, и сегодня мы еще говорили о том, что о гипотетическом сегментировании. Вы думали о том, что вы могли бы симулировать гипотетическую статистику? Другую статистику. Да, у нас есть некоторое, у нас есть расширение. Расширение для того, чтобы пофиксить статистику и для того, чтобы умножить эту статистику. Она называется PJDBMSTAT. Это как в DBMSTAT с Oracle. То есть, да, оно, если в моей базе данных есть какая-то неправильная статистика, ошибочная, она позволяет заменить ее. Да, я проверю. Спасибо большое. I think we will have one more question to be asked. Здрасте, спасибо большое за вашу речь. Вы сказали, что это расширение можно использовать только в тест-системах. Как его на бизнес распространить? Да, вы имеете право использовать это. Как вы применяете результаты того, что вы делаете в производстве? Вы можете использовать эти хенты, о которых я уже говорил. Мы можем использовать индекс, индекс кан в этой группе вместе с хентами. Там есть три типа хентов. И это значит, что вы можете использовать эти хенты и переносить их на производство от стейджинга. То есть вы можете, вы можете использовать это в продакшене. So this basically means that you may use it in production. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. Большое спасибо. спасибо.